Hey Dark Table Photographers, in this video tutorial we're going to take a look at the RGB primaries which helps read the input file of your photo and make sure the output colors are correct. Essentially the RGB primaries, it's same as the color calibration for the RGB channel mixer right here which is a little bit more confusing to use and I'll go over that in a different video tutorial. But I'll go back to the RGB primaries and you can use this for color correction or for color grading or if you want to do some type of creative coloring to your photos. This photo I took it in Nicaragua and Managua and I think in the background that should be Lake Managua. I'm going to quickly adjust this image by going to the exposure. We can see the histogram it's missing the white point right here. It's not all the way at the right so I'll just increase the exposure a little bit. And then I will go to local contrast right here, increase the highlights and maybe increase the shadows and it looks a little bit better, but I don't like it too much. So I'm going to go to the curves tool and I'm going to add a little bit of micro contrast right here. Actually, this is not micro contrast. It's a lot of contrast. And I'm going to increase the shadows right here just to make this image pop a little bit more. Now there could be a little bit of clipping in the shadows and the highlights, but that's fine. I'll go back to the color section here. I'll go to color balance, increase the saturation of the global saturation, and then increase the global brilliance. And I like how this global brilliance adds a little bit of a boost to the brightness even though it can be blown out a little bit in the background here, but that's fine. Now I'll go to the RGB primaries and I want to show you guys how these hue channels or these RGB channels work. So if I move this blue hue to the left, I'll be essentially moving or mapping the blue to cyan or teal, whatever color you want to look at it or name it. If I move the blue hue to the right, it goes to like the lavender or the purple color, as you can see here and here. So let me just reset that here. So you can see this different shade of blue or teal or cyan and this darker shade of blue, it changes when I change the blue hue. Now for the purpose of this photo, the colors look pretty accurate. So I don't really need to correct the color, but I can color grade it with the RGB primaries to whatever photo or to whatever creative work I like. But the one thing you may have noticed or may have not noticed is if I change the blue hue and move it towards the cyan or teal color, you can see yellow is also changing here. And yellow is the complement color of blue. So let's see what's happening here. If I reset this blue hue, let's take a look at what happens to yellow. So yellow goes back to its original color, but if I move blue hue to the left, it goes towards orange. And if I move the blue hue all the way to the right, it goes towards green. So if I bring in my color wheel here, this is the blue, this is the yellow, if I move the blue hue towards the cyan or teal color here, yellow does the opposite and it goes to orange. If I bring blue towards the purple color here, yellow does the opposite and it goes to green. So essentially that's what's happening when I'm adjusting these RGB hue sliders. So hopefully you guys understand that. So when you're doing color correction or color grading, just remember, whenever you're changing one of these hue sliders, the opposite channel or the complement color will also be adjusted. So for red, the complement is cyan, and for green, the complement is magenta. So those colors will also be adjusted. Let me bring back my color wheel here. So green is magenta, and the magenta will go towards red or purple, and then red has the complement of cyan and cyan will go towards blue or green. Now then we have this purity. So the purity just means like in my case or what I think is like the intensity, it's changed the intensity of the complement color according to how I understand it on dark tables instruction. So if I move the blue hue to the left here, 
we can see this is going to orange and take a look at the blue here and I'll increase the blue purity here. And we can see it's increased the intensity or almost like the saturation as you can say it. And it looks like it's complementing or increasing the yellow more than it is the blue here. And the one thing is when I'm adjusting the blue hue, you have to be careful of the sky as well. So if I move the blue hue to purple, you can see the purple here. And then I can change or decrease the intensity or the blue purity. And you can see what's happening here to this yellow color here. It's kind of like being desaturated or losing its intensity. Now let's take a look at this red color right here. So I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to move into here. So now we can see the fence here and the red here. So let's move red towards orange. And now we can see some of these other colors that have a shade of red or orange in it, or even it's complement of cyan. These have been adjusted as well. If I move red towards magenta, or towards its uh, pinkish or fuchsia adjacent color right here. You can see these have been adjusted and then I can change the purity and the way I read it is just intensity of the complement of cyan. And that's pretty much how it works. It's pretty easy to understand once you get the idea of the complement colors. And whoops, let me go back to this image. The other thing is this tint hue. This just gives the overall image a different tint or a hue. So it gives it a global change. So I can move this tint hue towards the yellow or brownish orange to give it a sepia tone. I do need to increase the tint purity to show its effect. So now I have this like film like nostalgic look. And then I can also do something silly with it and give it like a lavender color or cool it down or bring a green color. So that's pretty much how the RGB primaries work. For most of the time, you don't need to use this unless like Darktable really reads your file or your raw file wrong. Other than that, you would use it for color grading or just doing some creative work. I will give you an example. Let me go to my thumbnail viewer here. And where's the photo I'm looking for? It's not here. Let me go to the light table. And I do have one photo that I want to show you. I think it's this one. Oh no, it's this photo here. So for this photo, I'll give it the classic teal and orange look. What I'm first going to do is do the same thing I do with the previous photo, which is correct the exposure. Just like that. I'll go to the RGB balance tool right here, increase the global saturation and brilliance. And then I will add the curve tool and then add a little bit of contrast like that. And then I can start controlling the midtones to my liking here. So this midtone contrast, well, this is not midtone contrast. It's just darkening the midtones this middle node here, but I'm going to increase the highlights right here. And I think I like it like that. It is a little bit overblown, but that's fine. Now I'll go back to the RGB primaries and I'll give it the classic teal and orange look to this image, which is something a lot of people do when they're selling presets, especially in Lightroom. So I'll change the blue hue and I'll move it to the left a little bit. So now we're getting that teal color here. And then I can increase the purity or what I like to say intensity. I can decrease it and wash it out a little bit, but I'll keep it like that. And I'll move the blue hue a little bit to the left as well. And of course, the yellow will also be changed. So let's take a look at the before and after. So if I change the blue hue, you can see the mountain color here and this grass here has changed. So let me show you the before and this is the after. Okay, so I did that and now you can see this orange also coming in because if I move the blue hue towards the cyan or teal color here, 
yellow will go towards orange, which it did. But what I can also do is adjust the red hue. So for any red that's in here, I can change it towards orange. So I'm going to adjust the red hue, push it towards orange. And that gives a subtle look. I can increase the purity. And now the look of the teal and orange is more obvious. So let's take a look at the before and after. So this is how you color correct or color grade your images using the RGB primaries or the calibration. So hopefully now you guys understand how the RGB primaries work. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.